Now, if you have a Cherokee, you'll note no underhood light. Well, what do you do when you need an underhood light? You get yourself a GM underhood light. You make yourself a little metal bracket. Goes down to a point down there. Has a little tab welded on the side. And you get yourself one of these. Now this sucker, oh, they've got something like 10 or 15 feet of uh, cable on them. Pretty bright little light. Sometimes the magnets come off. This one's had an aftermarket one stuck on. Stick it anywhere. Chase yourself around when you're airing up tires or anything like that. Put it wherever you need. It is, as far as I'm concerned, the best trouble light that anyone has ever put in a vehicle. You'll find it in some GMs and Chevs. And you basically turn it off like that. Reach down here. Run that guy. And wind it back into place. Bam. There you go. Get yourself one of those. They're awesome. Now, if you have a Cherokee, you've experienced heat soak. They have what's called returnless fuel injection, meaning... It doesn't run back to the tank. It sits there in the fuel rail waiting to get used. And what you're looking at is part of my solution to that. These fancy little jobbies are not chrome. They're in fact stainless steel. Now any of you used to marine applications might recognize these. They're not the cleanest right now, but trust me, they glisten. Now these are bilge vents off a power boat. I think I paid about $15 each for them and uh, basically just cut a hole for them. That's about all you need to do on the bottom side.